Ireland International into their 23 for this game. Here's our referee for tonight's match from England, Carl Dixon, Jordan Wade of Australia, Christoph Ridley of England, the assistants, James Leckie of Australia is the TMO. Well, after that ferocious downpour, it seems the skies have cleared. I think we can expect a few more showers throughout the game, but more than that, we can expect another outstanding game of rugby. What a July series this has been. It's game two between the Māori All Blacks and Ireland. Josh Ioane sending a tricky kick down the middle and having a few problems controlling it, Ireland, and they did knock it on. So a little bit of deception right from the off, Kane Hames. Oh, the first line of the Māori All Black haka, ite timatanga kote kore, which basically means in the beginning there was nothing. And, of course, both teams are starting. The scoreboard leads now low. Now, watching the warm-ups of both teams, it's quite interesting that Ireland start with the first mistake. The Māori All Black warm-up was riddled with mistakes, so it was going to be interesting to see how they've come out and handled that. Well, the answer is they'll start a little bit tricky and put Ireland under first pressure. Well, they get a perfect position on the field for the opening scrum. They get a free kick as well. And, yeah, go says TJ Pirinata, Cullen Grace taking the tap and Billy Harmon sets sail towards the 22. Now they give it up to Reed Princep, one of the Hurricanes influence, strong Hurricanes influence on this Māori All Black side tonight. Here's another one, Isaiah Walker Leo Wedding. Tyrell Lomax with an early carry. Ioane again looking for a kick through. Oh, it's set up beautifully for Morby. Tipped on and through the hands it goes. And now a great chance just 10 metres out from the line for the Māori All Blacks. They got it quickly on Manaki Selby Rickett. Too quickly, says the referee. Referee is playing advantage. Here's Morby. Ireland will know, I'm sure, the scouting will tell them they'll have to watch him. Well, this is a good start for the Māori All Blacks. And on the other side, not a great start for Ireland. So far, have conceded a knock-on, a free kick, and a penalty. And one minute 50 in, KT, not a great start for them. Yeah, the coach, Andy Farrell, spoke about discipline and how it needed to be on point. Well, so far, the Māori All Blacks have been playing fast, kept them off balance, and they're clean at the break. They've been very good, and you know their attitude. They're going to go to quarter all day long here, Kane. Interesting, too. Now, Northern Hemisphere teams live off of the mall and more defence. Will the Māori take them up front? And go straight to Maul, or have they got something special to work out the back or, or the front of this lineup? Cullen Grace has gone to the middle, but they send it to Manaki Selby Rickett, and they do go wide from the line out. Nankerville, Yoani, lovely little wraparound, and Sean Stevenson scores! We had a blinder in Hamilton, and he's got them off to a great start in Wellington. Well, there was no more to be had at all. The Māori All Blacks take it down, set a fake more, draw a couple of people in, and they go wide straight from there. Sean Stevenson, special, special performance in Hamilton. And now he finds himself on the end of this move. You can see them tracking around just the corner. Sean Stevenson gets the ball in his hands. It's easy. The Red Sea opens up, and he's in for the Māori All Blacks. Well, you see there, it's just TJ Pitanata. When you put him out first five, automatically Island think right. They can see the number seven going in as a halfback. Billy Harmon, they're going to more here. No, they fade to go back on. They basically have two back lines wrapping around. The coach says, way to go, Roger Randall. You got that one all sorted, son. Well, Michael Lowry, the island fullback, just didn't know where to look. He suddenly saw two or three of them coming at him. Sean Stevenson getting involved early. And what a great start for the Māori All Blacks just three minutes on the clock and they're in for the first try now josh you on it five out of seven in hamilton difficult conditions tonight though 
with a swirling, blustery wind to contend with. And the first one sprays it wide out to the right. But what a start, right from the kickoff. They've been asking questions, and Sean Stevenson with the try. Look, I kid you not, the warm-up wasn't flash for the Māori All Blacks, but everything that they've touched so far has been sticking. Every pass has gone to hand, and they're looking pretty good. Good start for the Māori All Blacks. So, Frawley kicks off. Ball drifting down inside the 22, and Balen Sullivan is there. Great chance for him tonight. Midfield went very well last week in Hamilton, but Clayton McMillan, he had a squad. He wanted to give them all an opportunity. And so Nankerville and Sullivan in 12 and 13, and they made a pretty good start too. And oh, this man hasn't made such a good start. Lowry losing the ball, but behind him and recovers well with a run up to the 10 meter mark. Now will Ireland try to spread it? They do through the hands, but that's an awkward pass. And unable to reel it in was Jimmy O'Brien. It went forward anyway. TJ, option. Scrum call. Yeah, just as they started to go wide, TJ, man, the weather just started coming down again. But they're very good on attack, aren't they? They do create opportunity. One of the big boys there with a dummy. That's a nice one too, the drawn pass. Just this last one, difficult. That 15 metre area in these conditions. Scrums at Hamilton were tidy. It wasn't really until the end of the game that Ireland started. You could see Māori All Black had 100% scrum success, but it wasn't really until the second half where Ireland started earning those penalties. So let's see how the story gets told here. Well, it's a nice solid start for the Māori All Blacks. Nangaville again. They look to create some space. This time, Ioane with a dummy. Nankaville. What a season he has had, too. A little charge from Ollie Norris, but he's driven back. That's tremendous work from Kieran Treadwell. A big lock from Ulster, but they've got it away to Morby, and here he is, first real opportunity to take the defence on with a bit of space. The offload from Harmon, away to Selby Rickett. Good clean-out, great work from Eklund at the breakdown. They come up quickly on Walker Leowetti. Line speed, good from Ireland. And the old Māori All Blacks still back inside their own half. Morby. The relish playing in this game for this team. Given rain to use his attacking skills and instincts. Nankerville floating it wide, but that is asking an awful Watch lot it. of Connor Gard and Basham. And they're taking it quickly, Ireland. And Jordan Love is going to score. A brilliant heads up play. And Ireland strike back. That is great work from Ireland. Because they've had it tough it's for the gone. first seven minutes. Uh, and matter. probably the first first mistake the Māori All Blacks make when Alex Nankerville chucks that into touch. And they get punished straight away. Good heads up play. And Ireland. Punish the Māori All Black straight away. Well, say, man, the skipper with 96 ca caps and Keith Earls realise the situation to put the ball down. Māori don't react quick enough, but he does. Nice line by Lama off the skipper. That is a good reply by the Irish. He ran a great line too. He actually started off, he was inside the five. But he veered out to make sure he was five metres in from, or more than five metres in from touch to receive the quick throw in. And he really did kept, catch them napping. It's low. But Frawley right out in front. And Ireland take the lead, 7-5. He's the other experienced campaigner in this back line, and isn't he? Along with his skipper, Jordan Lama. Oh, yeah, they like that. Arty supporters, the Irish. Yep, sturdy test veteran, the Leinster man. Now here's Stuart McCloskey. Tall, 
midfielder, the number 12 jersey from Bangor in Northern Ireland, and the clearing kick. So Ireland, after that early onslaught, have settled down nicely. Line out throw for Kurt Eklund. Down the back he goes. Walker Leowetti is there, bouncing away with it. And off beautifully picked up Pedinata. The pass from Billy Harmon was a little bit awkward on him. Take it through the middle. Can you use it, please? Pedinata now just waiting for things to get organised. Princip, Ioane now. Cullen Grace, but good defensive work from Keith Earls to get up and close him down. Now Norris. Nine ends taking the nine out. Oh, busting right through the middle of them as Walker Leowenick. Now he needs some support. Selby Wicket is there. There's a knock on. No, no. And well, the knock referee had been playing advantage. It ended. And now Ireland have the ball. And, well, they weren't going anywhere, so he'll take them back to the breakdown. In fact, he might take them back downfield for the initial. No, it was a short advantage. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Isaiah Walker, Leo Wetter did make a break. And I guess. Yeah, he's just talking about it now. Line break, so that's advantage over. Now TJ Pinnado was taken out. Here's the break from Isaiah Walker, Leo Wetter. Josh Morby on the left hand side of your screen. He has been starting very well then. Just the pick up from Monarchy. Selby Rickett drops it. And of course, Kieran Foley drops it as well. So we will go back to scrum time. Tell you what, there was a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle there by Michael Lowry. <coughs> on a Zaya Walker, Leah Weddy, and then the clean-up by oh, Scannell. Just causing that knock-on. Okay. Great attitude by both Let's of these teams, though. Water off. Let's go. There's a mark. Green scrum. Yes, I wondered for a moment whether he was yeah. going to go back for the penalty advantage. So, I guess There's he set mark. his stall out here. If he sees an advantage to be real, nice and stable. he'll call it over. I like it, TJ. Yeah. I like it. There was a clean break. Oh, Sean, I'd take that as an advantage all day long. Well, we've seen a lot, haven't we, Carl, where it goes on phase oh, after phase Coach. after phase, and then they come 30 metres back down the field. Fine. Set. So it's Craig Casey and from Munster, and the front rows come up. Referee waves play on. Lama try and step his way through and he chose some good footwork too before he's eventually stopped by Billy Harmon. So this midweek Ireland team starting to get into their rhythm now. Casey goes to the left foot, pops it, hanging up in the wind too. This could be awkward. It is. Coming forward, he didn't get near it, but Connor Garden Bassett's there, hacks it away downfield. Now Lowry back in the play. Runs around behind some of his teammates, chips a little ball into space. Well, that's cleaned up nicely. Good work from Norris off the deck, and now Nankabu. Terinara is there. Walker Leowetti bouncing out of one. Saw off Keith Earls, then takes it to ground just short of the 22. So now the Māori All Blacks look to get the rhythm back into their game. Lomax. Taken in a tackle by Gavin Coons, the number eight. Good work at the breakdown, results in a penalty. Good work too from Kian Prendergast. He was penalised a number of times in Hamilton and pretty much told by Wayne Barnes, mate, you've got to sort it out. You can't just attack everything. So he's clearly gone, worked on it, made some changes and earns his first penalty. Clean penalty for Ireland. And that kick's not going to go under touch. And the Māori All Blacks run it back. Connor Garden Bashup, such an elusive character. That was a, a bad mistake. They went for length on the kick downfield, but didn't put it out. Now Nankerville straightening it up nicely. Stevenson rushing off tackles, looking for the infield pass. Billy Harmon is there. TJ Pettinata stopped just eight metres short of the line. Back come the Māori All Blacks. Nankable flings the pass away, but it's awkward. Unable to pick it up on the bounce was Tyrell Lomax, and they'll have a scrum. But again, the threat from the backfield of Sean Stevenson. Oh, how good. 
how good is he in terms of consistency as well now you would have heard in the pre-match he hasn't had a lot of game for the Chiefs almost fell out of favor a little bit but he is lighting the Māori All Blacks okay. right side attack on fire Billy Harmon present, at all, uh, present as always and then of course TJ Pettinara now Alex Nankerville second bad pass of the game it's unfortunate a bit of a bounce can't catch that Tyrell Lomax but they let the Irish uh, you're out of pressure again the whole situation was created by Alex Nankerville though couldn't go in the first game because he was sick but taking the number 12 jersey this one a very physical but you spoke about it TJ just the way he was able to straighten up their pass just to give Sean Stevenson half an opportunity we know how slippery the number 14 is for the Māori All Blacks and he really thrives in his environment but this guy here I know you rate him too very underrated player Alex Nankerville say he has had a great season just a bit of attention here for Reed Princep and they'll come back for the scrum <laughs> so 13 minutes gone two tries and these teams undeterred by the conditions it'll be damp out there and we're having these heavy showers of rain but they are both playing with a great sense okay. of adventure. Water off. Reward for the 12,000 that have turned up here Water on ahead. a chilly night. Casey. Five. A young talent Set. coming through the age group ranks from Limerick. Home of Munster. Takes it out of the scrum. And, uh, again, quite happy to get the ball through the hands before the kick downfield. Morby back close to his own 22. And Garden Bassett wants to send it deep. Oh, oh, great recovery from Lowry. I thought he was going to make another mistake. Bounced off his chest, but he regathered it. Now Stevenson. See how he copes with this one. In fact, it's Casey. And now Lowry. Bit of a kicking duel. Josh Ioane this time sends it to touch and that's a net game for Ireland as the flag goes up just inside the 10 meter mark and he's not happy with how far it's gone either but probably a win in the terms of the kicking draw line outs have been good tidy from both sides scrums have been good as well Ireland very solid no one really getting any pressure there is there a change yeah there is Kane looks like Reed Princess no good to go so congratulations Caleb Delaney on debut from now to Jufari Tour To Waimea College now spends his time playing for Wellington. Congratulations, Caleb Delaney and your final as well. Uh, Jeremy Lockman just coming in for a word with the hooker. Compressed line out. It's been tapped back. It's a bit untidy. And the Māori All Blacks have swooped on that. And they've grabbed it. That's really good work from Pirinara. Body on the line stuff. Harmon now try and get, get things moving forward. Okay, hold in front. No real momentum, static ruck, and so Ioane kicks deep. Jimmy O'Brien, the Leinster man, is back inside the 22. Blacks have a really good record against Irish teams. They've played national representative sides five times, won them all. They did lose a game to Munster in 2016 on tour. A memorable night. Hold it! It's a pass! It's a pass! The tribute that they made before the game. They lost that one. But of course, looking to cap their own series win here in Wellington. Eklund's got the ball in the middle of the driving wall. They funnel it back. Now Lomax takes over in the boot. Perenata just has a look around, sees what's on. Stevenson is trotting across field into the back line. And now he releases the Nankerville. 
It was a high pass. Manages to offload it. And here's Pirinata now. Heading off a cross field and then floating the pass to Garden Basham. Lovely footwork, but can't get away from McCloskey. Here's the new man, Caleb Delaney. Pirinata digs it out. Ioane taking it to the line. Then they move it through the hands. Here's Stevenson again. Oh, brilliant ball on the inside to Alex Nangeville. Real sleight of hand. Now Nangeville takes it to ground in the tackle of Lockman. Walker Leo winning. Ioane now again taking it to the line. Changing the angle of attack was Balin Sullivan. Hit rather hard by the pass, though, and it ricochets away. Yeah, well, that's 43 carries so far for the Māori All Blacks. You can see their intent. Let's go. You can see the intent from the Māori All Blacks. It's to carry the ball and carry it hard. But now, unfortunately, they've made a couple of mistakes. Now, we will go down to Māori All Blacks squad member Rāmika Poihevi. Rāmika, a bit of a tough start to, to the game and, and a great showing in Hamilton. What was the biggest areas to improve on? Uh, for you guys leading into this game? Uh, I think it was firstly just building on what we already had and then uh, the finer details and finishing finishing off opportunities, make sure we're playing in the right areas of the field, things like that, yeah. Rebecca, the conditions obviously not ideal, but I mean, there's obviously an intent there to move the ball as much as you can, when you can. Yeah, obviously, a typical Wellington day, very windy, bit of rain here and um, the, the intent was always to move the ball, but I think we've got to get the balance right in terms of not overplaying a hand, playing in the right part of, part of the field as well. Okay, Dami Nui, kia ora. Thanks very much, Thank you. Rameka. Now he talks about the weather. This would be a great day at Torman Park in Limerick. And talking about that too, Niall Scannell, the number two for Ireland, he was present the day. In fact, he started that game oh! the day Munster beat the Māori All Blacks in 2016. So. Oh! Possible chance of him Set. to do it again. Game famous for the Foley tribute before the match. Here's Lama, the try scorer, sending it straight down to Morby. Calmly takes the mark, bangs it away into touch, but Ireland are going to get a line out around the 10 metre mark here. Josh Morby on debut. Mati Mania Porto. From the Waikato Waitomo area. Oh, great steal. Cullen Grace, who's making a really compelling case now for higher honours. Great line out work from him, and it's given them some bonus ball. And Stevenson again making some inroads. Good run from Eklund into a bit of a hole there off a lovely pass from Perinata. Now Ioane. Selby Rickett almost to the 10 metre mark. Ireland trying to disrupt. Now Sullivan. Nice acceleration onto the ball. Eklund, Ioane, Harmon. They're asking questions. We know how well the Irish defend. Well, coming through there though. McCarthy got hands on the ball, can't do that. It's a rock, clearly a rock. Rucked form, and so it's a penalty to the Māori All Blacks. Now in terms of phases, they're stringing plenty of phases together, are the Māori All Blacks. They're not really getting some great momentum. The Irish defence is awesome in the middle. Try to go a little bit wider, and then, of course, the last time they had a line-out attacking opportunity here, KT, they did pretty well off of it. Yeah, they had a bit of... Mind saying his chest is a bit too far out, but I like the way the Irish, when they're defending, they are getting a lot of numbers in and around the ruck, ruck just to disrupt. You see there, McCarthy thought he's all had all right, so, but a number of times they're getting players and numbers there and really challenging, which they didn't do early on in Hamilton. So Eklund with the throw. Line out just inside the 22. They claim it nicely at the front. Nankable going hard at Frawley. Stood his ground though. Now Eklund takes them inside the 22. The clean out is good. Perinara just takes a couple of steps around the fringe. Well, he's gone in the side there has Manaki Selby Rickett. He's been penalised, so relief here for Ireland. It just seemed to fall apart when TJ made that carry without a general to get that attack. 
flowing. Niall Scannell got himself over the ball in a good, strong position as well. And Monarchy Selby Rickett deemed in the side by referee Dixon. And that's the pressure relieved off of the Irish team. It's just what I was talking about, Kane. They're getting numbers in and around the ball. Watch number two. There's the hit. Straight over it. And that's the second time in this half already that Scannell's got a penalty at Ruck. Carl Dixon, the referee, who refereed the first test at Eden Park. He wondered how he'd go because when he had previously refereed the All Blacks, it was a penalty fest against a very negative Italian team. But nowhere or nothing like that at Eden Park. And here he is blowing the whistle again. It's going to be a strum to Ireland. I like the attitude of the referees are taking here as well. Often you'll see referees stop and say, hey, I've asked you to get off the mark. But I have noticed referees in the, in the last couple of test matches and, of course, tonight and in Hamilton, the Māori All Black games, instead of asking them, they tell them pre-match and then free kick them after that. Speeds the game up. Still just one try apiece and Ireland leading. Crouch! Courtesy Five. of the conversion. Set! Casey has it, has a little dart too. Surely taking it to ground. Now the number eight Coombs, another monster man. Lama coming in close, again showing that footwork. He's certainly got a step on him. A tool. show of the ball from Frawley and makes some ground too. Now Ireland starting to build some momentum. Lockman with the carry. Into the middle of the park. Prendergast is there. Lively blind side flanker. They're building nicely here. Again it's Lama coming across from the far side of the field. Casey sends it away. It's building nicely here. This time, McCloskey with a little delayed pass, and they get a penalty. Yeah, I think it goes against Ollie Norris. I think he's saying Kurt Eklund didn't roll out the way and affected the Irish cleaners coming through. Now, here is the difference in the way both teams are seeing the game. Twice, the Māori All Blacks have had penalties down the other end and have chosen to take the line out. The first one, of course, they scored in the corner versus Sean Stevenson. Now, you can see that Kurt Eklund on the ground, technically in the way Ollie Norris was over the ball. But referee Dixon ruling that Kurt Eklund getting in the way of the cleaners make it a lot harder for number one Ollie Norris to get cleaned out. What I like about the Irish attack, though, Kane, is their tip-ons with their forwards have got runners short, they carry heavy, and if they do yeah. get an opportunity, half a hole, they're straight through. That's one that makes it so difficult to defend and if they do come up to defense and they read it then they've got those back ball options as well with the backs coming in behind yeah 100 percent jeremy lockman key and prendergast they've been featuring very well through the middle especially with those tip balls now kieran frawley gets his chance to convert some points and he sends it between the uprights and so ireland stretch their lead it's 10 to 5 in wellington kieran frawley and born in Sydney to Irish parents, went back to Ireland at a young age, plays for Leinster, and his two kicks are the difference between these two sides at the moment. Ioane sends the restart, awkward for McCloskey, but the little halfback is there to punch it away into touch. And the coaching staff, you'll recognise those faces. Of course, the great Paul O'Connell on the left of screen there. Thankable. Now the All Blacks getting it in quickly. Perinara. Ioane now. Now Stevenson. Eklund getting close to the touchline. The All Blacks calling for an offside here, not getting it. And well, now they do. That was just a bit too ambitious from Jimmy O'Brien. They've taken it quickly. And I think there's going to be a yellow card here. Yeah, Walter Leawetti went off from the tap penalty. They didn't retreat, and Prendergast is going to the bin. I 
I can't quite figure it out why he's going to the bin. To be fair, when Craig Casey was on the ground, the ruck before, that was probably more cynical, and Kian Prendergrass, who had a tough time in Hamilton, now finds himself walking off the field. Not back 10. That seems to be the reason. Well, they go for the line out. Not interested in three. Has been knocked back by Ireland, so they steal one. Well, that's brave stuff. To contest the line out so close to your own goal line, it puts you at risk from the driving mall. Well, Stevenson has got it, and this time got himself into a bit of trouble. Morby's there, but he's going to need some friends. Ireland have got numbers over the ball. And swooping through on it was Frawley. Well, that's a great steal from the number 10. And Ireland get it back. James taking it to the short side. Driven ahead by Lockman. And now the advantage to Ireland. They were offside. Now, this is what happens when you don't show that you're going to maul, because it looks like they will go to the line-out, but the Māori All Blacks have shown in all four of their line-outs that they're not going to maul. And TJ, you're exactly right, that when you get up in the air, you're at risk of not being able to defend the maul. Because the Māori All Blacks won't maul, you don't have to worry anymore, and you can get them up. This time, they did get Kieran Trigwell up, and that is an important steal for the Irish. That was an enthusiastic chase as well. And just the Māori All Blacks, just a little bit too content there, and they come up with a nice chase, and it was actually Gavin Coombs doing some nice work at the breakdown. They turned their ball over originally. Well, Ireland, although they're down a play, have got a chance now to start building a good lead. Good defence initially of the driving ball from the Māori All Blacks. Now they start to get it going forward. Scannell has it, and the referee is playing advantage, taking it to the short side. Casey, all good footwork too. They feed it off to McCloskey, and he stopped just a couple of metres short. Casey pops it up. Māori All Blacks having to defend their line here now. Casey has a look at the short side, pops it to the open, O'Toole is there. They went past Lachlan, here's Coombs, the big number eight, he's stretching out for the line. Scannell was claiming a try. I've got short, we're going back to the penalty here. Short, no, no, I've got it short, clearly short. Well, he thinks the grounding short the referee, but he's going to bring them back. It's going to be another penalty to Ireland. Well, referee Dixon won't go up. Stairs. We will see what Ireland will do here. They're turning this pressure into Three points, the and they've the taken some shots at goal. The line-out mall was pretty good, and it started about 15, well, maybe 13 metres out, and it did go a good seven metres. Now they might start this one five metres out, and their mall has already proven to be a little bit better than five metres. Jeez, he must have been close here, Coombs. Man, that spit and spin here's a good shot of it. Oh, man, centimetres in it. So Scannell throws to the line out. They go down the back. Scannell joins. It was a good claim by Kieran Treadwell. And now they drive on it. Edging towards the line. Scannell's got it. He's close. Can he get it down? Oh, good defence on the line from the Māori All Blacks, but again, they've conceded a penalty advantage. They'll have to be careful here. He's already sent one man to the bin. Double blow of the whistle. He's got one entry. Okay. That's enough. Okay, another Yeah, good second. One entry. Okay, we're coming. So I believe he's just given the warning. TJ will bring right the, goal, the Māori All Blacks in okay, and okay, KT. Okay ton of pressure in these last couple of minutes yeah and just remember they're down so to 40 men so like in terms of their now. game management okay, this is absolutely wrong. brilliant from this young irish team going and we're just using their muscle world power okay, just to put the pressure on and now they've got the result they okay, wanted so multi all blacks on, on their own okay, line under one, the, card. Okay. the card oh here we go captain might have an issue Hold it. tj claim number one please number one number one 
I think Ollie Norris is going to so be sitting down real quick. The information that's been given is we're close to goal line. You've just come clearly in the side. We're not looking at penalty try, but we're looking at a yellow card for the entry. Well, initially, Carl Dixon was satisfied, but Christoph Ridley, his English assistant, has thought otherwise. And so now both teams are down to 14, but the advantage very much with Ireland so close to the opposition goal line. Is that there where he's saying he's coming on the side? Yeah, I think. Hey. I think that's the incident they've chosen. They go to the line out. They funnel it back again to Scannell. It'll be hard to stop here, on. Although a couple of Irish players have gone to ground, and so that's halted the ruck, or the mall, I should say, picked up by Lockman. Ireland piling in. Coombs, he's been denied once, denied again. Now O'Toole getting over the board. Tom O'Toole, has he got the leg drive to get it over again? He's playing advantage. Close to the line, now they're over. And it's Nick Timoney, the open side flanker, who scores the try. That's interesting too, because Gavin Coombs, it's almost... It's almost a specialty getting over this close to the line. This time it's Nick Timoney who finds himself over. And this is just pressure. Pressure into points. A couple of penalties against the Māori All Blacks. Oli Norris goes to the bin and still with Kian Prendergast. Yellow carder for the Irish as well. They still find a way to get over. I know Coach Farrell really rates his back row and Prendergast who's sitting down Timoney and Coons. You can see why for such a young group. Man, I oh mean, they are absolutely powerful, and they're a good mix together as well. Three different players, but geez, <coughs> good combo. Well, you'll have seen him a bit before in the past. KT, former Ireland Sevens player, Nick Timoney. Oh, yeah, 100%. He has got a motor on him, TJ. And he's a big unit as well with skill. Uh, it's now a 10-point lead. Ireland have just got three minutes left with a man in the bin. They've actually added to their score. And Foley can knock over another two. He's judged that beautifully. And now it's a very good lead. Two tries to one, 17 to five to Ireland. I didn't get who what exactly was. I think it was one of the guards. Yeah. Seven minutes, six minutes now to play first half. And this is a much improved performance from the Irish midweekers. Going back is Joe McCarthy. Seen as a player of promise. Casey. Again, hanging up and allowing Ireland to get after it and reclaim the ball. That's great work from Jimmy O'Brien. Treadwell with the carry. Ball bouncing out awkwardly, and it's popped up really well. And here's Caleb Delaney. Chance now for the Māori All Blacks to get back into it. Cleared away by Nankerville. Right out in front of the post here now. Perinara waiting for it. Well, ball squirting away. He's not happy. Who plays your hand? Uh, Perinara claiming that a hand came through. Well, Māori All Blacks decide to get on with it. Driving over now, they've conceded a penalty. Well, it's interesting too because... Major on, which he's allowed to do. Yeah, correct. So TJ saying he's part of the ruck. Which means he's not really in an onside position to play a man who then picks up the ball. He's not happy. No, he's not. TJ. You know that. Well, let's have a look and see what up. he was complaining about. He's part of the ruck. So if he's part of the ruck, you can't exactly play. So number 12 isn't onside. He can clean out, but you then can't touch someone from an offside position. So you can see why he's upset. When you're part of the ruck, you're not necessarily in the last man's feet. You can play 
you can clean out, you can cause some disruptions there, but when the halfback picks up the ball, you don't often get away with touching the halfback from an offside position. And he's still talking. Well explained by Kane Hames, who, as well as being an international rugby prop, has been a first-class rugby referee. He's doing well with his kicking game, Casey. Using that breeze nicely, but here's Stevenson gliding through them, topping a lovely ball away to Billy Harmon. Wasn't held, so he went again. Pedernara just waiting for the opportunity to clear it. Doing so, Nankerville now. Ioane, little show of the ball, looking for the offload, sits up nicely for Walker Leoetti, Eklund. Marty All Blacks looking to get something back before half time. Selby Rickett. Good work from Lomax. They were in danger of losing that, but the clean out was good. Now Cullen Grayson, a bit of space, looking for the offload, decided to hang on to it. So now they go inside the 22. Pedinara swings it away. Ioane. Morby up on the line, through the hands, oh, Nankable though, bounced away off him, no, no, not and gone. the chance is lost. You can see the different strengths of both sides, the Māori All Blacks okay. in terms of stringy phases together, putting a ton of pressure on. The Irish on the other side, they're very okay, strong over the ball 14. at runtime. time, KT's mentioned 14. it, their kicks are very good as well, but it's this six, last pass six. from Balin, it's just a bit of a bullet to Alex Nankerville, who's very close to him and running onto the ball. He's had a bit of a rough start, has Alex Nankerville, a quality player. If you watch the Chiefs, you'll know just how good he is. He just had a rough start so far to this game. Yeah, you can see the way Ireland are jamming in defence, and that's fantastic. Their 10 minutes of game management actually added to their lead, and Kian Prendergast is back on with the coach. See, Tamaiti Williams has also Let's come on onto the field for the scrum. Make sure you hold our balance. Looks like he's replacing yeah. Caleb Delaney. Make sure inside. That's our mark. Two. Come up. So once again, we have this situation where we have a scrum, and so a loose forward has to go off while a prop comes on. Been a bit of a talking point. Big Tomaiti Williams. Crow! Joining what will be an underpowered scrum. Bang! Set! So Kian Prendergast is back. Uh, all backs down to 14 for another couple of minutes. Hold it, hold it. Thank you. Oh. Got a bit awkward on Morby at the back as well. Stevenson sees the oncoming line undeterred. So instead of what Nankable for, had to do well to hang on to that one too. And now penalty. Well, he does penalise them at the ruck. Oh, you're on your hands. Pass the ruck. And it Plus was Joe McCarthy. Yeah, Joe McCarthy again. He was a tackling machine in Hamilton. Top tackler, in fact, with 21 tackles. But at rough time, he finds himself off the ground and still playing the ball, this time off the ground. Now, here's Alex Nankerville with the fingertips catch. Not bad work from him, especially to clean up. Joe McCarthy now on the ground, on the ground again, trying to play the ball and trying to counter up from on the ground. If you're on the ground, you're out of the game. So last opportunity now of the first half for the Māori All Blacks. They started well, but find themselves trailing by 12. This time they do drive and make good initial progress as well. Eklund has a little glance, smuggles it away to Perinara. Nankerville takes on the defence. They look to wrestle him to ground. Perinara will switch it back the other way. Makes a few around the fringe and showing great determination to drive ahead. But it's oh, it's been beautifully pinched by Niall Scannell, the hooker. And he cleverly gets it away to Gavin Coombs, the number eight, who's been very impressive. Ireland will put this into touch, and that's a very good first 40 from the touring team. Ireland lead the Māori All Blacks by 17 to 5 at halftime.
in. Where the lights go out, we're going! Oh! oh! oh we got another one down! You can't take your eyes off the British Superbikes. Live on Sky Sport. Straight all night. You gotta keep... It's a bit to think about. You're right. Feels like a big step for us. Well, if we're gonna make it work. We wanna talk to the right people. Get the right advice. Someone who really gets what's what and who's who. Someone with a lot of experience. Over a hundred years should do the trick. So what's next? I suppose we could ask around. More rural New Zealanders partner with FMG to move ahead than any other insurer. Ask around about us to find out why. KFC? Now's good. Mix up your midwinter with the new gravy burger from KFC. Ah, winter. So hot right now. Spring lamb in winter. So hot right now. Jumping out of a plane. So hot. Sledding. So cold. I mean hot. The end of the earth. Yeah, that's hot. Sunrise. Getting hotter. Rotorua. Well, obviously you're hot. Aotearoa New Zealand really is great in winter. So check it out for yourself. Oh, is that too hot? Nah. TR Group is supporting our customers to make the transition to cleaner and greener urban deliveries with all electric heavy commercial vehicles. Talk to us today about zero emission transport options for your business. TR Group, creating a sustainable transport future today. Go Harvey Norman for a bonus up to $400 gift card on selected Samsung Neo QLED TVs. Like this 65-inch model. Limited time only. Mothers. Fathers. Sisters. Brothers. Cousins. People up north. Down south. On the map. And off the grid. Directors. Tradies. Team players. And doers. Guardians. Legends. Whole communities. The fearless. The individual. The contrary. And the ones who have taste. The lifelong hard grafters. Up with the larks, into the night. Those who have ideas and aren't afraid to share them. The creators. And the dreamers who live in another world. And those who live for today. Who see the funny side in everything. Who laugh and laugh until the whole world joins in. New Zealand drives a ranger. Let's hit it. Oh, sweet. Dude, it's a bug. Okay. <laughs> It's unfortunate. Wake me up before you go, go, go. This is what inspires us. This is Kiwi, and we are your bank. Hoki mai, welcome back to Sky Stadium in Te Whanganui, Atara, Wellington. The Visitors Island have put the hammer down in the first half, leading the Māori All Blacks 17 points to five. We've got Bryn Hall and Joey Wheeler to talk you through the highlights, and the Māori All Blacks started off with some razzle-dazzle. Oh, didn't it? It came off this bunch of play here, Perinara, with some great width, and been able to get a lot of animation. You see the ball from Josh Rani, bang! Straight out to Shooter Stevenson, who's carried on this great form, and it's been great in the first half, Joey. Johnny on the spot, but the Irish, they hit straight back. It might have been the old dad and Keith Earls, but he was smart thinking longer in the tooth, but still sharp as a tack. Quick lot, quick little line-out throw, and it was that man, Jordan Lama, 
who struck back for the Irish, and this sort of got their game rolling. This, this little momentum shift, and that's when the Irish really started to flex their muscle. After a few penalties, they went to their line-out drive. Bryn? And then they, Kyle, this is what they didn't fail to do at Hamilton. They were able to build pressure. And I remember in that second half last week, last time they played, they weren't able to get over the line. But through here, through Timoney, they had a bit of momentum, and they finally got to score in that 33rd minute, which was crucial. In this, in this first half. Both teams, down a man and Ireland, managed to still get some points on the board as well. That was big. That was big, yeah. I think the Irish, they'll be, they'll be really happy with how they fought back because it looked like in the first half yeah. of that um, of the first half that the Māori were going to dominate everything. So, mm. yeah, they'll be really happy with their fight back. Mm. Well, we know what to expect from the men in green, and that is brutality on defence. Yeah. And they're doing that here, aren't they? And that's one thing that we talked about pre-match. They needed to win the physicality better. And tonight, even though they're attacking at 85%, Joey, it's been the brutality and slowing down the Māori's ball. Remember that first test match, that yeah. first half, the ability that it had a quick ball, TJ hasn't had the same due to that the impact, the collision. Has shifted, hasn't it? And you yeah, noticed that, and I think the, the, the Māori All Blacks, they've been trying to, sort of doing an Ireland uh, to what they did for the All Blacks in the yeah. weekend, where they're trying to hold ball for long periods of time, hold position, and sort of break them down that way. But the brutality that this Irish side's mm. brought has definitely been a real shift, so they'll be really happy with their intent yeah. in that area. Well, someone that's always lethal when he touches the ball is Sean Stevenson. We yeah. talked about him pre-match, right? And he's been so... He's been the shining light out there. Well, he has. And look, the, the try that it's that scored, that shows that. But it's every time he's touched the ball, Joey, he's had that ability. We'll, we'll see the pitches through here. He obviously scores the try off a great set phase move. But defenders beat him. 62 metres gaining, wet carries, nine carries as well, Joey Phil. And that's what I like to see about Sean Stephen. Work rate and getting on the second Yeah, that's what I've loved. Is he's, he's coming off his wing. He's keeping busy. And, mm. and in these games, especially in these wet conditions, wingers can have a tendency to just sit on their wing and wait for Ooh. the action to come to them. But he's gone looking for it. And every time he's touched the ball tonight, yep. he's created something. He's been the instigator of all, all the good multi attack that's come out this Ooh. evening. So, yeah, another brilliant performance, another brilliant 40 minutes. I just hope Clayton keeps him on. Keep him on for the whole <laughs> 80, please. Please, Joey is asking you to. Can the multi All Blacks continue? throwing the ball around, these no-look passes, or do they need to slow it down a bit, calm it down? What do you reckon? I think the kicking game, they just need to do it a little bit, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. Keep running the game, and that's we obviously need to express, express ourselves, but we need to do what Casey and what the Irish are doing, so do that. Well, there's plenty more coming up on Sky Sport. The Farah Palmer Cup, in fact, starts this Saturday, our domestic women's competition. Make sure you check it out on the 16th of July and the fight for life. Look at this, Kevin Mialamu taking on wide Angie Korku Carlos. and our very own Honey Kedemi Smiler is on the card as well. Book it on Sky Arena Thursday the 21st of July from 7pm. Well, Ireland are doing their best to try and level the series. Currently the Māori All Blacks up 1-0. Will that change in the second 40? All will be revealed. Stay with us on Sky Sport. This is the decider. Oh, big hit! Here they go! He has needed everything! Stay. Around here, we're a lot like family, and we're long overdue a catch up. Everyone knows rugby's part of our blood here in Aotearoa, and everyone has a role to play. Yeah, it's good, mate. It's nice. No matter who you are, where you're from or who you support. Come along and join the party. Rugby World Cup is coming. Make yourself at home. Caught up with old Muzz lately? Yeah, caught up with him uh, yesterday. Yeah, whereabouts? Oh, aye, why would I? Not the hot pulse. <laughs> nah, on the passing lane. Come up from behind him and uh, dropped it down a cog. I don't quite know what he said, <laughs> but he wasn't happy. <laughs> the new Shogun, now with 510 horsepower. We didn't forget Rapid, New Zealand's most effective moss, mould and guns remover. We didn't forget Rapid is perfect for use on the roof, the driveway, awnings, cobbles and pavers, weatherboards and plaster, decks, fences, outdoor furniture. And even here, a Kiwi favourite with a trade quality applicator, developed and made right here. We can forget rapid. One product, any surface. Exclusively available at We Can Forget stores nationwide and online. Polaris.
Cyprus, New Zealand's number one selling side-by-side -side brand offers the largest range of side-by-side -side vehicles, including petrol, diesel or electric, from two-seat single cab to six-seat dual cab. See the new Polaris accessories and apparel catalogue online now or at your local Polaris expert. Polaris, think outside. If you're good to nature, she'll be good to you. So Meridian are building their sixth wind farm. I was T-boned by a truck on my left-hand side, 200 metres from my house. I broke my back in three places, all my ribs on my left-hand side, five of them on my right-hand side. I spent 10 days in a coma. I actually woke up the day before my daughter was actually born. I was wearing my seatbelt and that is the main reason I survived. If you need a brilliant sign fast, call Speedy Signs. From retail to digital, to vehicle signage and everything in between, we've got it covered nationwide. Phone 0800 Speedy for a fast quote. Speedy Signs. Grow your business faster. covers the things you care about so you can live a little freer. No my Oki my welcome back Ireland leading at half time over the Māori All Blacks by 17 points to 5. Let's get the thoughts of the coaching staff in a moment Roger Randall from the Māori All Blacks but first from Ireland John Fogarty with KT John, you must be pretty happy with their game management, especially when you're down to the 40 men in that first half. Yeah, I thought there was a lot of composure. Um, our line-out, we missed the first two line-outs. We, we lost the guy, and uh, they came back nice and composed. Um, the rook is hotly contested. Uh, we need to make sure we're clearing the decks, yeah. clearing the decks there. And we can bring a little more line speed um, in our defence. It's tough conditions out there. Wind is swirling and it's wet ball, so a little more, a little more edge to our defence might, might get us something. A uh, kicking game was on point too as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know a whole lot about kicking games, but um, but um, yeah, the boys are covering backfield really well. Um, and let's see, it's, it's set up for an exciting second half. Technically, anything change the second 40? Right now, we need to make sure we're sticking to plan. Like I said, getting some real line speed, um, it's tricky to play. Um, they, getting some real line speed and putting them on a bit of pressure. Thanks, good, good luck. Rog, created a lot that half. How do you finish those off? Yeah, we just talked about that. So I've been a bit more clinical. We've created a lot of opportunities. Um, started really well. Uh, let them back in the game, you know, when they had a, a yellow card and put ourselves under pressure and got a yellow card ourselves. So, yeah, been a lot more clinical. Our races and our physicality had a breakdown around some of the interpretation there. Uh, it's not quite right, so we need to get better there. Key for you for the second 40? That's physicality. You know, we're, we're trying to play some Māori rugby and throw the ball around. It's pretty tough conditions. And we'll back the boys to keep going out there and doing it, but we've got to be a lot more physical and win those battles a bit more. Right, pleasure as always, uh, Rog. Go well, eh? Keep it up. Carl Tenana with the interviews. Māori All Blacks will have about another 30 seconds with Ollie Norris in the bin. It's been a very good first half for Ireland. Striking back after conceding the opening try. They've scored two. Nick Timoney, the open side flanker, got one. Jordan Lama got the opening one. Keith Earls will be happy. Captaining Ireland tonight. There's Ollie Norris, who just have to set out the... The opening stages, the opening seconds of the second half before he can get back out there. That's why we're waiting for the second half to start. Kane Ames, I think just mistakes probably one of the differences. In fact, we'll get Kane's thoughts in a moment. Second half starts in Wellington. And into the action goes Josh Morby. They'll really try and look to get him involved. They have looked dangerous when they've got the ball into a bit of space and got the ball out wide. Just the hands have let them down at times. So who starts the second half best? 
Well, Ioane is shaping the kick and then stepping nicely before he runs. Well, it runs into a, an upright tackle there from Jeremy Lockman. Referee deciding no harm done, so play carries on. And they get a penalty island. Five's on his net. Really good work at the breakdown from one of the try scorers, Nick Timoney, and chance here for some points right out in front, about 35 metres from the post. Well, a neck roll, it seems, referee Dixon has a water on Nick Timoney. It looked like Kurt Eklund, and you can see the attitude straight away from Ireland. We will get our first opportunity. It will be within scoring range, and we will take the points. Isaiah Walker, Leo Wedder, you can see hands around the neck. Yeah. So not Kurt Eklund, Isaiah Walker, Leo Wedder on his clean. Well, there's Isaiah Walker, Leo okay, Wedder. So if I missed that, I apologise. Father Kelly, a Fijian player who was uh, one of the, the stars of Nazi Pro East Coast in the, the glory days. His fucker papa on his mother's side, and of course he plays for the Ruatoria City Club, time. celebrating their 100th jubilee this year. But right now, the focus on this man, Kieran Frawley, who's kicked really well in this game so far. Three out of three, and you can make it four out of four as Ireland opened the scoring in the second half, and they're building a good lead here. It's 20 to five. They're confident, aren't they, TJ? This Irish. Outfit just compiling points and that's forcing the Māori to play more than they want to now. Tamaiti Williams, he has come to the bench. Ollie Norris is back on and so is Caleb Delaney taking the Māori All Blacks back up to their 15. Ball hanging up nicely in the breeze and not taken cleanly by McCarthy. And so the Māori All Blacks are going to get a scrum here and their scrum restored to the full eight. <laughs> now you can see the difference between the way that the teams are playing in terms of kick meters the irish are all over the maori all blacks 486 but let's look at the carry meters the maori all blacks are trying to carry as much as they can so two different mindsets two different ways that both teams are attacking this game Crouch! at the moment the irish have definitely got the upper hand Bind! This will be the Māori All Blacks' first chance in the second half. Well, the scrum, nice and solid. Perinata had a little look. And a little rap play, Stevenson involved. Sullivan, though, losing the ball. And again, handling here is really hurting this Māori All Black side. Every time they get into an attacking situation, someone's dropping the ball or an awkward pass. This time, it was Balin Sullivan who couldn't hang on to it. Yeah, well... It's almost what I talked about in the first half. This is how they warmed up. It's what they look like in their warm-up. And then they sort of surprised us. And their hands were pretty good. But for some reason, they started to change it. But you can see good pressure tackle from Jordan Lama to really force that. And I guess that's probably the real difference is the defense from the Irish keep forcing these mistakes. Both teams have made handling errors. Just one team has suffered more for them, though, particularly in attacking situations. When they put any pressure on the Ireland scrum, well, they have a go. They manage to clear it away. Frawley sends it down the middle. Morby gets a call from Stevenson. And he sums things up, decides to have a run, pops a nice ball back. Morby straight up the middle. This is what they want to see from this very promising fullback. Nankable now. Better hands that time. Got Garden Bash up and Howden making a storming run down the touchline. Well, Garden Bash is furious. He felt that he was being tackled before he got the ball. Referee no, thinks otherwise. Okay, so we have an early tackle first. Are we looking at something else different to that? So they will go upstairs. Now we did see this in the test match. Okay, so James, we're looking at an early tackle um, by Green Player. Just looking if that potentially leads to something else. Um, and there's a clear line break and potentially penalty try. All right, so let's discuss sure, what penalty try means. Green 14. 
And I'll give you a wide angle. Because there does seem to be a lot of confusion. The word probable is what we need to focus on. Does the foul play from the Irish team stop a probable try? Now, on the now, weekend... What we need to see is the reverse angle. We've clearly Johnny got Sexton didn't tackle. pass the ball. So we're looking at definitely a yellow so card. So no probable try. This time, Caleb Delaney does pass the ball. Okay, the wide one. Gonna is Conor Garden Bishop look at the, wide one. Yeah. the victim of foul play? The answer is yeah, yes. Does it stop a try? Does it stop one. a probable so try? That's the question the they must, must ask. That player catches yeah. the ball. Are we looking yeah, Caleb at three Delaney it was with the run. I think I said TK Howden. on the way through. So just get the high and tight again. Christopher, you see the same thing? No question. He was impeded before the ball arrived. It's just a matter so of how severe the penalty tackle, will be. He the I, ball. He's probably got a clear line I running. I think the answer is a penalty Agreed. try. Agree. So we're looking at a penalty try and a yellow card. OK, can we just get the number, please, of the green player who makes the tackle? Now, why is this different to the number weekend? 14 yeah. is that player. Just getting the number. It's simple. Caleb Delaney the passes the ball on the weekend. Please. Johnny Sexton didn't. 14 green. So 14 we'll a penalty green. try the against the Irish team. In a big change of momentum, possibly. Okay, he's lost all 14, comms. You 14. need to run over to him. Well, he goes between the posts. It is a Clear penalty on. try. Jordan okay, Lama. Jordy, has he got comms? He has I gone can hear to you the now. I just couldn't hear you before. I can hear you now, yeah. The early tackle on Connor Garden Bashup. It's an automatic seven for the Māori All Blacks. But it started again, TJ, from Keep the right. And, and pass from Sean Stevenson. Morley gave him an opportunity. Went down the middle of the park. There's the poo gunner for Connor Garden Bash. 100% that's the penalty try. Momentum definitely swing out of the second half. It's a great run from Delaney. As well, Stevenson fielding the restart. Alex Nankerville. So does that bring around a change of fortunes? No, because the ball's been squirted away. And, well, it's a maul. Māori All Blacks can bring it to the ground. They'll get the turnover. And they'll have a scrum just inside their 22. And a change of momentum it is. They're trying to hold you up. You're probably trying to get to ground. Now, how will they navigate the next nine minutes while Irish are down to 14 players? Joe McCarthy with a nice rip to give this man, Jimmy O'Brien, an opportunity. But look at the work by Nankerville. Walker Lee Wede. Lomax in there as well, Mel. The industry in the mindset, do they just kick it down down near the Māori All Blacks and get into good areas, or do they back themselves and have done so far? There's the bench, as you see there in Jersey 18. Michael Bent. Of Taranaki, a man who went and played in Ireland and made the Ireland national team back in New Zealand Amen. now. They actually had to call him in as cover for the first test. Not on the 23, but certainly to help them out at training. And they've gone back to him again. There's the Māori All Black Reserve bench. Caleb Delaney in 20s made a couple of good runs. So Grace just holding it in the back. Nankerville at first receiver. Again, working that little rat play. Stevenson, a little shimmy. Eventually taking it to ground. Perinata. Delaney. Now Perinata, little look. Pumps one over the top, holding up in that breeze. Go oh, sliding in brilliantly to take it was Jimmy O'Brien. And now the pick and go from Gavin Coombs. Well, he went, read that beautifully, the left winger, and Ireland go back onto the attack. Prendergast, Frawley now, looking to drive the Māori All Blacks back inside their 22 with the kick. How about that for a take? Okay, yeah, time great to go. hands sliding through Jimmy O'Brien. Oh, Ireland really getting up and challenging Delaney. 
Oh, screw himself at the opposition defence, but okay, use it up, please. the ball is there for TJ Perinara. Sends it down the touchline. So it's two tries all. It's the goal kicking of Frawley that's the difference at the moment. Now, in terms of a ploy, look at the yellow box above the Irish team 628. If they're going to have a couple of these meetings, they can wind down the clock. Referees probably do need to watch for this. Well, he told them to get a wriggle on. Grace got up to challenge, but Prendergast has got it for Ireland. Over 15. There you go. See you by That's one. Oh, Scannell try score a holding it in the back. McCloskey. Good, strong leg drive from him, too. And that allows Casey to get it on the front foot. Now they get it away to Treadwell. And the big lock makes progress inside the 22 crunching onto it mccarthy there for casey nice quick ball frawley the inside pass to o'toole there again for ireland frawley is not scared to take the line on flat ball across the face of the oncoming defense from mccloskey and i've lost it so Good work at the breakdown. Nankerville was involved. I think Perinata was in there. Now maybe a chance to break out. Garden Bishop sends the kick deep. And now having to double back is Michael Lowry. Slides and grabs it. Can't get away from Garden Bishop. Oh, good work from Ireland, though, to get the ball in a pressure situation. And clearing it away was Prendergast. Great work from him. And good heads up play too from the Māori All Blacks. And no, 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 no. Can't go nearly now. again going quick at that Can't line out, but they spotted the opportunity left. A lot of other teams might just take the penalty advantage and take the kick, but the pressure they put through the kick and good work from TJ Pittenout, especially to win this. Finds its way left, goes to Connor Garden Bishop. Good work on the boot. I wondered how far it would go. Michael Larry. Caught it just before the 22 and took it backwards. But watch the work from Kieran Treadwell as well. Probably his entry was in the side, but he has been immense this game. Watch the entry from Kieran Treadwell. And the Model Blacks go to the lineup straight away. Walker Leoetti down the back. Brad Weber is on Nankerville. Tackle release! Goes into the tackle. Now here's Delaney, who's been really impressive with ball in hand. Gets a beautiful offload away to Eklund, and they're inside the 22. Weber wants quick ball, sends it away on the short side. Norris is there. So they've made the change at halfback. Selby Rickett now. Grace on his shoulder. Ioane. Walker Leoetti just standing imperiously in the tackle of Prendergast. Ioane. Now Morby. Well, they were waiting for him though. And they've held him up too. And they'll get the turnover here, yes. Ireland. This is good defence. He went in upright, although the ball squirted out. No, the referee says ball, we'll have a scrum. Green ball. Where's the ground? Stand the ground now. Ball hold up. I, uh, the ball definitely came out of there before it collapsed. It's, it's, it's yeah. tough to really know what to award there, but he's gone well, the way of awarding okay. Time's off. the scrum to the Irish. Before it collapses, okay, the ball going. does come out here. Time back on, let's go. There it is. Let's go. Inside, three. Inside. Either way, Irish have the ball. Let's go, the lads. We'll find themselves inside their 22. They've been under a little bit of pressure since this half started, but they've been working through it really well. Now the two <laughs> halfbacks, Kapini Paheko, co-captains, and so Weber on for TJ Pedinata. Still plenty of time to go in this game. Still a man in the bin, Lama. Two and a half minutes. So, again, taking their time about getting the scrum down. Crouch! Bind! 
Set. Look, it's one of the areas that referees community, international need to really work on being aware of how much time is taking place once you blow the whistle and then when the ball is in play again and watch how that changes when one team gets a yellow card well Ireland have done a pretty good job I have to say they've just been measured about their approach to the line out and they've managed to eat up plenty of time Crouch. at this scrum Find. Set. Hold it down now. Hold. Casey. Oh, it Marley All Blacks comes through. And well, he says... Can't just go round. Spun around, Let's so we'll straight. have a reset. Can't go round. Of course I can watch that. Not a problem. We haven't had any issues in scrums up to now, so let's make sure we push straight. Let's go again, please. So what's he looking for here when the scrum wheels around like that came the difference between a penalty and a reset well most referees would penalize that you can walk to the side and cause a lot of issues there basically referees need to see both sides getting up but i still think this is great time management from the irish team how many minutes have they played why lama has been in the bin Time, come on. Lads, we've had no issues up to now. Let's make sure we keep our space, keep our feet up, both of us. Let's get that stability back, OK? Time goes back on when we call engage. And definitely not be negative. I think around the world, the average minutes of ball and play is around 35 minutes. So where's the rest of that time? It's from when the referee blows his whistle to win the ball is in play again, which is why I say referees need to start being aware of just how much time is being Crouch. killed. Well, that and time... find ways. Sorry, Ken. Yeah, that time he did blow time off, didn't Set. he? So, now the clock starts again. Casey sends it away to Frawley. Now here's the fullback, Lowry, tries a kick ahead. Doesn't come off, though, and it's brilliantly scooped up by Connor Garden Bashup. Coming away with it was Brad Webber, and the Māori All Blacks now get another chance to launch an attack against an Ireland team that's still a man down. Morby gets the fend on Lockman, takes play to the 10. I'll bring it back the other way. Cullen Grace is there, winds up, has a charge at them. Timoney in there, wisely opting not to play for the ball. Garden Bashup spinning out of the tackle of Michael Lowry. Now they go back to Norris. He goes in just a little upright. And he drags it to ground. And, oh, that's more very good work at the breakdown from Ireland. He's having a very strong game. Great work from Nick Timoney again. Do the subs, no need for water break now. Let's keep going. Don't need the water break now. Yeah, well, they're reffing the water break it. Now. He's reffing it very different, yeah. isn't he? At the breakdown. And I think the Māori All Blacks really need to just adapt here. And Ireland have made a change here in Jersey 19. Ryan Beard, he's come on, replacing the number five, Kieran Treadwell. And also the Māori All Blacks have made a number of changes, changed Let's both go. props. Jolly Norris and Tyra Lomax has gone, and Tomati Williams. In Marcel Renato are off, and also Ruben Ob on the jersey 22. Niles Scannell throws it down at the back. A uh, couple of very flat passes in that move, and now a penalty. Sam's in the first half. Walker, Leo Eddie. Let's get Seven. this thing moving. And off goes Brad Weber, stepping his way up over halfway. Pops it up for Garden Bishop. And there is Delaney again, charging onto it. To Mighty Williams, nice hands from him. And again, straightening it with Sullivan. Walker Leowetti. Weber had a look away to his left. Now uh, the ball's been dropped this time by Caleb Delaney. Time off. Good time for a water break. Yeah, well, both teams, I love the attacking mindset. But you can what see the handling errors now. are really starting to creep up. Caleb Delaney, man, what a game he has had. 
probably unlucky to just drop the ball there. But I love the attacking mindset from both teams, KT, but just those little last passes. Yeah, Māori All Blacks coach Roger Randall spoke about that. They know that. And he's a bit more concentration. The Ireland defence, to be fair, has been very good. But, oh, look about this banger, lads. Can't wait for this. Yeah, it's Saturday night. The decider. Make sure you join us from 6 o'clock for the build-up. Just keep flicking in and out, but it's fine. All set up, All Blacks winning at Eden Park, Ireland storming back to score a superb victory in Dunedin. And of course this one too goes for decision, Australia against England, a test all there as well. And in South Africa, where South Africa changed their teams and paid the price for it. Wales coming back and stealing it at the death to make it one all there. Argentina, well Scotland had a great win. It was a very good win for the Six Nations countries, or good weekend, I should say, for the Six Nations countries over the weekend. You okay? You saw there the hooker, Niall Scannell. This is a far cry for him from what he's experiencing just a couple of weeks ago. He's on the beach in Portugal when he got the phone call to say, we're a bit short down here. So he jumped on a plane. He went one way, his luggage went somewhere else. Had to borrow some boots. And here he is, and he's been very good tonight in this Irish team that leads by 20 to 12. Crouch! Almost three quarters of the way through the game. Set! Casey. They go left, McCloskey pops a short one away to Earls. Skipper for the night, Prendergast, and they offload the ball really well, this Irish team. It's one of the hallmarks, one of the reasons they have become such a successful team. Something they've really developed Touch! under the coaching of Andy Farrell. All on side, all sent touch. down to Kieran Frawley. He puts it high, goes off after it, and comfortably taken by Stevenson. Ioannic swings it away, oh, Garden Bishop. He sends the ball down. Well, he was looking for a 50-22, but he's put it out on the fault. Kicking battle. Ireland definitely winning the kicking battle, and it's been important, and probably in the conditions as well. You see Connor Garden Bishop testing the win, but... In these conditions, Ireland knew what they were going to do. They were going to kick, they were going to kick well, and someone like Frawley has just been kicking the Māori All Blacks all over the park. They've judged the wind so well. It's an awkward wind here, but they've managed to hang the kicks up. That one is not a great throw to the line out, and Kurt Eklund comes away with for the Māori All Blacks. Ioane, now he goes looking for a 50-22 except he hasn't got his lines right and this one well it's backfired spectacularly because they'll come all the way back for a scrum Jeez, that one didn't even look close did it at all from josh Yuane. good push out the line out though from anaki selby rickett let's go out then good heavy carry from the hooker kurt eklund you want that one back again information Let's go, lads. Does feel like just a little bit of execution off the turnovers, including the penalty as well, where Isaiah Walker Lear where to tap the ball and Brad Weaver made his way down the field. Now their attack is good, the Māori All Blacks, but in these conditions and tonight, in terms of a trend, it's been 30 metres good. So get the ball into a line out 30 metres close to the line like they did in the first half. Possibly it turns into try time. How good has TJ been tonight? Talks about really being ready for the Māori All Black opportunity. He's talked about earlier in his career, he didn't know a lot about Te Ao Māori or the world of Māori, but he's done a lot of learning. Done a lot of searching. Crouch! He feels very comfortable in his own skin and very comfortable Five. with his Māori All Black opportunity. And you can see behind him the man Set. on the bench there, Luke Crawford. He's had so much to do with what you've just been talking about. 
Kane Hames, well, he's had enough for referee. And Three to noon. They have been mucking around a wee bit at scrum time, and he's given the Māori All Blacks a penalty, finally, and so they'll get a chance now to send it deep. Eight points behind. Just looking for a good five or ten minutes that could change the course of the game. Use the line, please. Yeah, so they've, they've ruled knee to the ground, which is a bit of a keyword at the moment for KT. Some more changes coming in the front row anyway. Yeah, burn on for Ireland, replacing Jeremy Lockman, who's been good tonight. Ireland starting to use their bench. That one's been... Uh, just got a little touch. Yeah, it wasn't straight, though. So they'll have a scrum, and there's another opportunity lost. Let's go in quickly. Well, Peter Wilkin from the Ireland team joins us, and uh, this is a much improved performance from your midweek team here tonight, Peter. It is, yeah. To be fair, they, they've worked really hard over the last 13 days or so. They were disappointed with that first game, but um, we knew there were things we needed to improve on, and they've done a good job so far. What's the key now to closing it out? Still 19 minutes to play, and you know how dangerous the opposition are. Yeah, there's plenty of time left, and, and as you said, we know how dangerous the Maori are. So I think for us, it's about efficiency in this half of the field, not playing too many rucks. We've got decent reward for the field position when we've got it, but um, it's really important we don't give them too many rucks to attack in this wet weather. Uh, it's such a great week. Must be a lot of excitement about the team. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic, you know, for the whole squad. We've got the two run outs, obviously, and um, no, really exciting. We're looking forward to the weekend as well. Well, here's a strong run from back. Thanks very much, Peter. Pleasure. Thanks. So, guys. play carries on, and uh, it was a great run from the back by Michael Lowry. There's Ed Byrne, the new prop on the field. Sorry. Now putting it high as Frawley and chipping it over the top, taking it close to the touchline. You only was eluded the first challenger very cleverly and got his team okay. out of a bit of a hole there but now they're penalized i couldn't hear now hold that hold that hold this could be that's, about that's, michael lowry he reeled away the penalty's all the penalty's all the way back there i don't know yet he is down that's, injured close to halfway Lads, lads, let go, let go. Come on, come on, come on. We will listen in and see what they have to discuss. Okay. It's hard enough to hear, I couldn't hear my AR. Okay, just just take him back. Okay, so? The comms obviously aren't working, yeah. um, but I called two was on the floor from Black and he made a tackle, so he's on okay. the floor, he's out, out of the game. game. Okay. It's a penalty to Green. And no line break or anything like that, just a penalty. Okay, back here. So number two was on the ground and he made a tackle. He must be on his feet to play the ball. Interesting to see what happened to Michael Lowry. Great tackle from Sean Christoph? Stevenson back on halfway. After that initial break from Ireland down that left side. Where I am now. But Kurt Eklund was deemed to be on the ground on the and ground, out of the game and tackle. still played the ball on the ground. Time off. Yeah. We'll hold it. Wait for the players to be treated. So Lowry Sorry, I just couldn't hear he made that run on. from the back. A whole lot of subs so being made here, Carl. Yeah, on and Jersey, uh, 16 for the Māori All Blacks. Lenny up his side from Ngāti Aotearoa. And then uh, the late replacement, TK Howden, the Jersey 19. He's coming on and replacing Manaki Salby Rickett. Sorry, lads. Didn't get the call too late. Now, how good has Sean Stevenson okay. been tonight? He's a strong series. For the Māori All Blacks, lit the world on fire in Hamilton and has been so good tonight. Great break from Michael Lowry, but look at this hit from Sean Stevenson low, just under the rib cage. Somehow Michael Lowry came off second best and hurt his head, reeled away. So we made a replacement. He's still getting a little bit of treatment and might be making his way, his way you know, to the sideline, KT. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, it was legal too, wasn't it? It's right in the ribs and sometimes in time, and it does hurt. And Joey Carberry, Jersey 22, very experienced man replacing. Uh, Michael Larry and also Bully Proctor talk about experience from Napoli in Jersey 23 he's replaced uh, Alex Nankerville Well Ireland get a line out inside the 22 Some points here would take them a long way towards the win that this Midweek Ireland team have worked so hard to try and achieve since that defeat in Hamilton Ryan Baird the replacement lock was the target at line-out time. 
And Varnish, get off his legs. Oh, penalties and now. Lifting the legs. Starting to mount up against the Māori All Blacks, nudging it through Frawley. And it's Balin Sullivan who's gone wall. back and forced it, but they'll come back for the penalty. Don't lift his legs in the mall. Kieran Frawley had a really good night tonight. Lifting his legs. Perfect from the boot. Kicking around the field has been great. And you can see well, the penalties here. conceded for the Māori All Blacks are starting to really rack up. Partner that with the handling errors, it? and it just shows a night that's not going good for the Māori All Blacks. I don't know if you've noticed this, Kane, but in the test on Saturday, they need it, and now there's a couple of tonight players lifting the legs at oh, yeah. oh. the it. A new take that is coming, but the referee's been very hot on it. And it's probably good that they're watching it too. We will get another chance here to see. Well, again, the target is bared. Oh. Good defence initially from the Māori All Blacks, but they wheel it away. Oh, now it collapses in a heap. Casey clears the ball away for Byrne. And this time, it's good work from the Māori All Blacks at the breakdown, and they get a penalty. It was so interesting, KT, that you mentioned it, because at that last mall, it happened again. You could see a Māori All Black arm around the back of one of the Irish legs, and it did cause a small collapse, and then Tika Heldon subsequently gets his hands on the ball over that, and the Māori All Blacks get away with one of them. You can see Howden there. Well Green positioned. Longer. And just had a little glance at the referee. Make sure the whistle was going in his favour. Kick. Certainly hasn't made a lot of ground. And it's bobbled possession too. Awkward. And now they can see the penalty. Brad Webber well, holding on. Hold it on. And they'll go back to another oh, line out. Clear left. You get the feeling they think Kane one more try here might just be enough for a win. Yeah, the model backs will never please. give up, but Move. Black, please. we talked about a little bit in the first half, or maybe just after the second half, in terms of strength. The mall has been very good. Watch them walk around the corner, find some space, and see if they can get their mall. Oh, really good work from Delaney, but then they've lost it forward, and Ireland have got it back. Just a metre from the line, Delaney won the ball in the air, but then it was knocked forward, and so Ireland now will look to kick the door down. Walker Leawitty has come through, and he's tried to disrupt. Swarming defence on the goal line, led by oh, Billy defense, Harmon. Nice. Coombs getting over it, denied in the first half, not this time. Gavin Coombs scores, 25 to 12 with the kick to come. I swear this is a specialty for Gavin Coombs. He scored 15 tries for months in the 2021 season. And I swear all of them were about three metres close to the line. He is, a, it's part of his specialty. Now it did start from the Irish liner and it has been very tidy all night. This time they turn it over and the Māori All Blacks keep struggling with the turnover ball. From here, close to the uh, close to the line, the Irish have been hard to stop. And Gavin Coombs picks it up this time, close to the line and he's over. Well, he's such aware in his ear, you see Cullen Grace just challenges at the ruck. That's when he picks it up and sees half a seam. And you spoke about it, Kane. He is just a master at scoring tries at this time. Okay. Try scorer in Hamilton and involved in the setup of the try for Bundy Key. And now one here in Wellington. Okay, it takes the lead out to 13 with the kick to come. This is an important kick. This goes over, and the Māori All Blacks would need to score three times to win. He's been banging them over beautifully tonight, and this one can't quite make it. Look, if I'm honest, in the first half, Gavin Coombs got over the line. Didn't want to mention it at that time, but I'm pretty sure he would have scored that try. But it's not just a three-test series for the Irish. It's a five-game series. And if they win this one, it will be 2-2. It's a very important game to come this weekend. Yes, not just the test series, but the whole tour record. 
chance by Ireland to come to New Zealand Order, and hold for and win three hold. out of five. But this one's not over. Cullen Grace decides to have a charge at them, but he's met by Ryan Beard, the, the big man, the 22-year-old. Ioane, that one ricochets away and falls nicely for Balin Sullivan, but they've held him up, and this will be a turnover. Doesn't that just highlight in terms of the kicking game for the Māori All Black 2? Last couple of kicks, this one bounced off the head of an Irish player, and then subsequently he gets held up. Before that, Josh Ioana kicked it all the way down, but plenty of effort from all of these teams. Kieran Treadwell, he's been good. Kieran Frawley, been going well as well. That time, Josh Ioana kicks into the head of an Irish player and gets held up here. Some very special performances from some of the Irish players. Just keeps flicking it out. Well, the Māori All Blacks made such a good start to the game. The early try by Sean Stevenson was so simple in its execution, you'd think that set them up for something. But look at the way Ireland have come back. The try by Jordan yeah, Lama. Quite happy to take the three, build pressure on the scoreboard. And they've carried that on. Just that Sorry. penalty try in the second half, giving the Māori All Blacks some hope. But with just over 10 to play, 25 to 12, Let's try again for it. it's not a bad lead. Okay, let's go. Here's a mark. Still time, though. Balance, please, balance. Look, those are the gifts that the team will be giving each other the one on the right gift from the irish lovely Crouch. waterford crystal Bind. Set. the all blacks have tried to put pressure on at scrum time but ireland have always managed to clear the ball the kick He's picked up by Love, and off he goes. Great run down the middle from Reuben Love. He split them open. Cullen Grace is there in support. Love's a pass back in field. Oh, what a try! Maui Rugby at its best. What a break from Reuben Love. Something out of nothing. And this is Maori All Black Rugby at its best. And you'd start to think that maybe there is some hope. You mentioned it, TJ. They need to score three times. Well, here's number one. Ruben Love makes a break. Steps a number of Irish players. Finds Cullen Grace, ever present on the right. And then KT, Ruben Love gets over Hal Mekett. Oh, two Mekett, that's what that is. They needed some injection and Ruben Love, you just love the way he plays the game. Always backs himself. That was, like, was a nice pass on the fly. Cullen Grace, that one was even better. Oh, how good. Well, it's a name that has a proud place in the history of Māori All Black Rugby. Reuben Lover's dad, Martini, played for the Māori All Blacks back in 1983. And he had one of his forefathers actually played for the Māori All Blacks the first time they played in Wellington 100 years ago. And it was a brilliant break from the back. Sensational pass to Cullen Grace, who replied in kind. Now, if this goes over, but it doesn't. So the Māori All Blacks will still have to score twice to win. They needed that kick. Oh, he's a talented player, Ruben Love. Starting to get opportunities for the Hurricanes, especially in that 10 juicy. Now playing at the back for the Māori All Blacks, but just talent okay. all around. So the All Blacks needed that conversion to go over to make it possible to win with a converted try. But Ioane, they really put some pressure on him. Straight into the right. Chant going up for Ireland. Here's Billy Proctor. Another of the very strong Hurricanes presence in tonight's squad. Grace. Well, again, as John touches off, tremendous class here tonight. Ioane rather hurries the kick away. 
There it is. Joey Carberry. Oh, my oh, Stevenson. Oh, I think he'll go here. He'll go here. Will he? He stuck a hand out. And he wants to have a look. He's gone one-handed and not seen to touch. Wait, wait. Just make sure he doesn't have a chance to read. Yeah, well. Just checking a line break potential. Going one hand and see if he can regather the ball. It's coming up now. Oh, he's there. He can regather that. Clear line break opportunities, just whether he can regather the ball. And I'm not seeing him regather the ball. Yeah. Jordan, you seen? Deliberate knock on, no, re no chance of regathering the ball with a line break. Yeah? You want to be head regathered it, he'd be under the post. Yeah. But he hits it quite far forward. Interesting discussion. Lecky, so on field, what we've got to decide is whether when he hits it ball forward, can he regather it? At the moment, I'm seeing that he can't regather it because it's quite far in front of him. He cannot so, regather the ball. He, so you're saying, can you, can you repeat that? He cannot okay, regather the so ball. The However, is... there is plenty of cover. Number? So, Number? He, 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 I don't see any obstruction. He can't regather the ball. Is that 14? 14. Well? It'll be a 14. yellow card. 14. 14. Deliberate knock -off. The English With a line break. assistant referee always trying to convince him that he had a chance of regathering no, 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 it, and it should only be a penalty. But yeah, and I love that attitude too because, as much as possible, we should be trying to keep this game pure. 15 versus 15. I saw someone comment online the other day that they received less cards for their birthday. Oh, oh. we are seeing a lot of cards at the moment. So. Sean Stevenson will spend the remainder of this game on the bench. And the model bits play with 14. Oh. McCarthy wins the line out. That's one. Marcel Renata there in Get Jersey 18, just Jersey. having a look around to see where Get the drive might be coming from. In the end, Scannell peeling away with it. What a game he's had. And this man here, Gavin Coombs. Casey as well. He's got Connor Murray on the bench. And he wants to see it out. The young Munster halfback. Here he is again, popping it up to Ed Byrne. Another tour replacement. This has been a big improvement from this midweek side. Ryan Baird has given up a penalty here, holding on. Howden again at the breakdown involved for the Māori All Blacks. Josh Ioane really hasn't been striking the ball out of hand or at goal particularly well tonight. That one really only making four or five, maybe ten metres. But they've got it. Up his side. Has it in the back. Weber races in. Can't use it! I'll have to release it now. Ioane tries a little chip kick over the top. And, uh, well, the chase was good, but so too was the mopping up work. That was Earls. And Ireland have it back. Scannell moves it on. Here's Jimmy O'Brien threading a kick through the middle. Ioane is there. Now he needs some assistance. Weber, awkward for Connor Garden Basham. He manages to step his way past the oncoming first line of defence. Now, can they make something from broken play? Deep inside their own 22. Proctor goes to ground. Weber, look at the Irish defence, ready to come up off the line to Mighty Williams. Stopped in his tracks. Nothing really on. And Weber's going to have to kick here. 
awkward bounce and then into touch. Ireland in this game, Kane, have shown touches of the defence that we've seen from their green. test side. Their ability just to shut down the opposition attack. Well, plenty of test players in this team. Of course, Keith Earls has had 97 games, Jordan Lama 30. So, I thought of this when I watched the first game, Māori All Blacks and Hamilton. Regardless of the players, the coaching setup is the same and they're still under the same system. And I was surprised to see the clean out slow in Hamilton, the defense not as good as they would normally show from the Irish side. But since the game in Dunedin, it seems like the old Ireland has come back. Their defense stings. They put some big shots in and they bring a lot of line speed in their clean outs. Peter Omani has discussed it in the past. You're picked and dropped by your urgency and accuracy at the breakdown. Has been a change to Tomo. Tom O'Toole is left for Ireland and on a jersey 18. Now, man, Michael Bent. Baird oh! wins the line out. Scannell Goss got a game. Snapped up nicely by Casey. Has a little dart. Taken. Good tackle from behind by Walker Leo Wedding. Now, big Ryan Baird. They'll try and get him over the touchline. Okay, now they go. But it's still there for Ireland. Casey. And Scannell yet again. Prendergast. Now Earls, who's marshaled the back line really well. But strong carry from the captain. They go back to the left. Prendergast crashing onto it, but met really good defence. TK Howden it was. Five! Let go! Let go! Let oh, Walker go! Walker Leowetti has to let that go. And eventually he does a lovely little tip on from Baird to Michael Bent, who finds himself back out on the field. He thought his Ireland days were over. Here's Baird. Now the flat pass, and Lama's going to get another, and that'll seal it. Yeah, that's going to be the door shut, slam shut from the Irish. They've turned up here in Wellington, Te Whanganui Atara. And they've put on a clinic. Their kicks have been pinpoint. Leading the way is Kieran Frawley. Lama's been good. He scored that first try, unfortunate to get yellow carded, but he gets himself in the right corner, and that is it for the Māori All Blacks. What about that money ball from Sean McCloskey out to Lama? Absolutely brilliant, just whips it. In the face of the Māori All Black defence, gets straight across and it just leaves Jordan Lama free. The experienced man, the exclamation mark on a fantastic performance by the Irish. Yeah, he started it and it looks like he's finished it. Remember the try he scored from the quick line-out throw that caught the Māori All Blacks off guard. Piece of opportunism, but that, that was a clinical finish off that pass by Stuart McCloskey. And so now, 30 to 17, this is turning into a very good win. Just the start, Ireland were looking for to test week. The week of the decider in Wellington, the sideline conversion blows away in the breeze. He won't care. He's been very good tonight, Frawley. But they'll be smiling tonight, the Irish, that's for sure. Ioane, with the restart, well, they were well beaten in Hamilton, but they have clearly put in some really good work over the last couple of weeks. They've lined themselves up for this game and it's been an excellent performance ed burn making a few meters music please well they can really 
finish off in style now if they want to. Here's Coombs. What a game he's had, the big number eight. Earls, well, that's not a great finish from Earls. Throws the ball into touch. We'll have time for one more line out. Now, this has been a terrific response from Ireland. Oh, the All Blacks, I don't know whether that went the five, but Tamaiti Williams has got it. Can they at least finish off and have the last say? Thank you. Weber, up his side, taking it flat on the advantage line. They've had their opportunities in the game, but their hands have let them down. But Ruben Love has been brilliant since coming off the bench, and Brad Weber's going to score. That's another brilliant try for the Māori All Blacks. It's not going to be enough, but at least they'll have the last say. Well, it's almost too little too late. Ruben Love has been excellent. Brilliant. Since he made his way onto the field, Ball at the back, Joshua on it, just a little right foot step. And then a pinpoint perfect pass to the ever-present Brad Weber. And the Māori All Blacks will salvage some pride, albeit still lose the game to an excellent Irish team that has turned up to win.